What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in with the Ant-Man in 3D review. So yeah, YouTube, I finally saw Ant-Man and the reason I was so excited to watch this movie is because it's a brand new superhero that I have no idea about. You know, I, I don't know the origin story and all these reboots and all these superheroes that have been coming out have been fantastic. I love it. I've enjoyed it. Ant-Man is a guy that all I know is that he becomes an ant. That is literally all I knew going into this film. Paul Rudd plays Scott Lang, who eventually becomes an man he is the protege to michael douglas's character dr hank prim and the relationship between the two was really something to watch it was special uh, going into this film my biggest concern was paul rudd can he transform into a superhero can he be an action hero can he be believable and yes he was he nailed it cgi oh my god in 3d this movie looked phenomenal wow this is one of the better 3d superhero films this this is one of the better 3d films at all like when he became an ant and got big and you saw all the other ants and the way he communicated with them it was just so awesome to see and it was definitely a, a immersive experience in the movie theater something to go watch this is a summer blockbuster and this is what i i love going to the movie theaters for biggest complaint about the film the villain forgetful atrocious there, uh, Paul Rudd was more of a villain to himself than the actual villain. Michael Pena, T.I., they were really funny. The comedic timing in this film was phenomenal. I laughed so much, enjoyed it so much. The the writing, the witty writing was actually well done. I like how they actually incorporated this movie into the Marvel Universe. All the references, the Easter eggs, everything was so cool. You know, I, I, was, I was getting all nerded out and shit. I love the actress that played Hope. The reason I'm not pronouncing her first name is because it's so complicated, but she did such a great role. I do see her going into the future, you know, becoming what she's supposed to become. I love the interaction between her and Paul Rudd it was real cool. The training scenes were cool as well. Just overall, this movie is a fun time, but there wasn't that, you know, crazy. I was like just ah, emotionally hooked scene. It was, I was hooked to the film itself. It was very consistent from beginning to end, but it wasn't that one scene that I was like, oh my God. At the end of the day, I give it to Marvel and Disney. Every time he transformed into an ant, not only did it look real, not only was it exciting and fun to watch, every moment he transformed felt special. And that's what I loved about it. He wasn't just transforming just to transform. You know, it, it was so cool to see him this small and the way they pulled off the fight scenes with him being that small hitting big people it was just done so nice it, it didn't look like crap it didn't look like oh my god that's so fake it was so well done that i was like wow this actually works the movie is actually fun it's actually exciting it, you know i was having a great time you get to see another side of the world that we're not really used to seeing which is you know the little stuff that goes on between the lines i'm not gonna lie i enjoyed it a lot final verdict of the film 3d was awesome cgi pff, character development was cool the the superhero ant man is a believable one is an enjoyable one go out and watch it guys we're gonna have a sequel for sure the movie did good in the box office thank god we're gonna see him in captain america civil war and the avengers going forward paul rudd the transformation was really really good i am actually happy because uh, that was one of my biggest concerns going into the film i'm not gonna lie can paul rudd stop being that little romantic comedian guy and go in and be a superhero yes he can so guys, that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Lex Express checking in, checking out. Peace.